were just uh, going over with Leslie here. He had asked me about how we actually did his surgery. If you look over here, you can see this is Leslie's uh, surgery over here, uh, where we did a, a thoracic to lumbosacral iliac wing instrumentation fusion. He's about six months out doing well. So just asking me how to do the surgery. So the first thing we have to do, Leslie, is we have to make the holes in the bone. And so basically the, the place where we put the screw is right here in the pedicle. Gotcha. Okay. And so this, this is a good example right here. You can zoom in on this. This actually shows uh, where the screw goes down okay. into the pedicle. Okay. So we get, and for that we make a small burr hole, and then we have a special pedicle finder which kind of wiggles its way down into the pedicle. And then we have a ball tip where we can feel down the hole to make sure we're inside the bone. Okay. Then we actually have taps like you have for wood or metal, and we actually can thread, really? put threads really? in there to, to increase it to the size that we want. Okay, now, a question I have is, some of those screws are you know, off this way and off that way. That's right. If you have scoliosis, and depending on what angle, they're going to be at different angles. And there's some special ways that I calculate that angle to and line it up to get that in the right place. So we get the screws in that way, and we, then we have all the anchors in. Then what we have to do is we actually then have to bend the rods to the shape that we want you to be. Okay. So the rods come straight, but then we want to contour them so that you have your proper, like there, you have your proper sway, right? right. right. And so that's what we've done here, and we actually even have the screws mounted on there. So I actually do that bending myself in the operating room with some special benders. Then what we do is we actually insert the rods into the screws, and the way we do that is using this device. This is called a persuader, and this actually clamps onto the screw like this at each level, and there's a little cap that goes inside there, and the rod is sitting off the spine. This is going into the spine like that, and then this is the rod like this. Okay, so if you hold the rod, then what I can do is at each level I can screw this thing down like a corkscrew, and look what it does. See how it pushes the rod yes. down into position. Now, if I had a cap on there, it would actually then lock the cap in. And then I could take this thing off, and then it would be, see the cap here? Yes. Then the cap would be in place, and then, then we go on. So the fact the that this swiveled some helps you it align. It does, exactly. Yes. So this has a swivel head on it, and yes. that allows yes. it to okay. align better. I right? finally figured that out. It had to have a swivel on it. Yep. And then we just lock it all together, and in some cases we'll put connectors like this. Do you have to go back sometimes and readjust your bending? Uh, yes, sometimes we do. Or I have some small benders I can put in there and make some small adjustments. Yep. While, while the, the rod is in the back, you can still go in and do some uh -huh, adjustments? Some fine adjustments. If, if I have to do a major adjustment, then I would just take the rod out and bend it outside. Um, but it's basically, you know, it's a form of craftsmanship. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I, I, I thank you for explaining it to me because I knew that it had to be a swivel of yeah. some type because um, there's no way uh, in my uh, junkyard uh, experience that you can drill holes yeah. and, and they all come out right. Yeah, exactly. And, and well, especially because your spine's a, not perfectly straight, too. At that point. Right, and, yeah. exactly. And then so. you have to... Uh, uh, adjust those to the to get the separation right correct. exactly yeah. so in some okay. cases I okay. might put in a little distractor and, and, okay. and spread or compress you know to, you mean the, to move the to move the vertebrae, vertebrae a little bit oh, yeah okay. to help straighten it but uh, that's the basics okay so now I'm Thank concerned you. that he's asking all these questions because it makes me think that maybe he's going to go out there and compete with me I don't think so <laughs> all right God bless you Leslie thanks all right buddy. take care